erreichen wir alle vorgesehenen Anschlusszüge. Vielen Dank für die Reise mit der Deutschen Bahn. Auf Wiedersehen. We've been waiting for about five hours in Dresden uh, Airport and finally I think my team is now waiting outside. Powerlifters all over Germany are doing crazy things like this to get to Lauchhammer, which is this really small town near Dresden. So here we are. Where is my book? So we're going to buy pasta on and cereal and milk and stuff like that for tomorrow because we need to get lots of carbohydrates. It's really shitty weather today but we have arrived at the competition place in Lauchhammer so let's go. So it is a little bit small in here, but I think it's gonna be fine. So it's about midday now. I'm just about eating my lunch, so I'm gonna eat like loads of carbs, um, but not too much before the weigh-in, which is at three, because I need to make sure I'm under 63, which hopefully I will be, and then after that, I'm gonna eat quite a lot before the competition. Um, I'm feeling good. I've seen the guys lifting already, and the judges seem to be pretty fair today. Um, so now I'm going to make some breathing exercises with one of the guys from our team, which is T.S. Bauha. You can see it there. <laughs> so, yes. Hi guys, so we're just doing the warm up now and I have made my weight class, so I'm one kilo under the weight class. So right now we're warming up and then my first shot will be 120 kilos. Uh, yeah. Hey! <laughs>
German nationals are now over. Uh, it feels kind of weird. I'm kind of a little bit sad that it's all done and dusted. But yeah, um, my hair's going crazy by the way because uh, I had braids in, as you can probably see from the competition footage, and now it's kind of gone a little bit mental. But yeah, um, so I'm just going to do a chat, an overall chat to discuss the competition. Um, and how I'm feeling about it, what are the next steps and what I'm going to be doing next year because I'm going to be in a new age class which is an, a whole new thing, it's going to be the open category and these generally has the best, this generally has the best lifters in it um, so that's going to be a completely new thing for me and yeah I'm excited. So um, the first thing I want to talk about is my squat so I obviously open on 120 and I sped it right up because in the warm-up I was doing 115 and I did it really slow and it didn't move so quickly so my coach said to me okay you need to speed it up so hence why the 120 was quite fast and then the 125 I did the same thing but I just went too fast and it wasn't controlled on my second attempt that's why I lost it because it just I lost tension and then I couldn't come back up even though I was clearly capable as you can see by the third attempt um, in which I just kind of slowed it down and the first part of the descent into the squat and then at the bottom just could spring right back up. Um, it was hard still but I think I had a little bit more in me, maybe 127 and a half, maybe 130. So then it came to bench and honestly I wasn't happy with my performance. I did 60 in the warm up, then opened on 60 and I've done 62 before. So 62 was my one rep max, 62 and a half. And yeah, that's all I got and I wanted to do more than that, so my coach Francesco, he was happy with my technique in the weeks leading up to it, I think, and, and I've definitely made a lot of improvements, but um, I need to continue with that and then just really make my bench a little bit better because I think it should be a bit better than it is. And then we come to my favourite lift, the deadlift. So this was the point in the competition where I was hoping that I could win the competition with my deadlift. Um, and my coach said to me, if you want to win, you need to do 142.5. So I said, right, okay, that's fine. Now this was a PB for me, so it was quite a scary prospect to think that it was coming down to this moment and I had to pull it and it was going to be a PB. So um, that freaked me out a little bit but I still managed to do it. It wasn't a very clean pull and I know my back was bending, I could feel it but um, yeah, I managed to get 142.5 and then um, I was told that I needed to do 147.5 in order to win but in hindsight I actually only needed to do 145.5. That would have also been the German record and I think I would have won with that as well. But as you can see, I went ahead and did the 147 and a half. And I got it up, but the judges call it two to one red lights. So yeah, and I can see in the video, like it does look as though it's either the bar is stationary or it does lose height. And the, the idea is the reason why I was red lighted was because the judges thought that the bar went down to the floor and then back up again. So unfortunately I was red lighted and then comes to the last lift and I've got to do 147 and a half again you can't reduce the weight and it was like you've got to do this and you win and <laughs> if you don't so yeah I mean obviously I did want to win um, but I mean I went for the 147 in the end and I just gave it everything and I couldn't do it so yeah, it's kind of a shame because I know I'm, I know I'm definitely capable of doing more. And 147, it's like I got it up, but it wasn't a correct technique, so the judges called it, you know, not right. And that's powerlifting, you know, you either pull it and you pull it correct, or you don't. 
and I know that a few other people in the competition, um, they've had some bad lifts and you need to you need to follow the rules, you need to listen to the start commands, you need to do it right. So yeah. I actually was really sad about it, <laughs> you know, but uh I still, I'm still very proud of my performance, I'm still really proud of what I've done, I know I'm really strong and I'm still very excited for what's to come and it's just fueled my hunger for more competitions really. And I actually had an amazing time, I met some amazing people there, um, I had a lot of fun with everybody, everybody's just in a really nice humour, really nice sort of atmosphere there. Um, and we had a bit of a joke because... Um, the difference between first and second place for me was 2.5 kilos so like my new nickname now according to my team manager Mike is Helena the 2.5 Humphreys top bants top bants so that's my new name now maybe I change my YouTube name <laughs> Um, yeah, well anyway, so what's to come in the future, I am hoping that there's going to be a deadlift competition, deadlift only competition in Germany and that's going to be in December and I'm hoping that I can compete in that and you know maybe maybe get the German record this time, so the German record is 145, that's actually been set by Sonja Kruger who, um, she's 16 years old, she's sub-junior, and she set the junior record as well. So, I mean, unless she's competing, if she's competing as well, then <laughs> then we'll see whether I can get the German record or not, but yeah. <laughs> I think I'm pretty disappointed with my squat because I feel like I definitely could have got more um, there and easily, so if I didn't miss my second lift, which I got on the third, I feel like I could have pushed it and that could have been the difference, but it's all very much woulda, shoulda, coulda, and that's the way competition goes, you know? So, as I mentioned earlier, next year I'm going to be in the open category, so it's the year that you turn 24 in powerlifting is the year that you then enter into the open active category, and there's a lot of very, very good lifters in that. I hope that maybe I can go into European and international competitions, but I'm going to speak to my coach tomorrow, and find out what the plan is, um, whether I'm going to do equipped lifting, which is completely different to raw powerlifting, but I do love raw powerlifting and I think I'm definitely going to sit with raw, but whether I do equipped as well is like another another thing. Um, yeah, so I hope everybody enjoyed my video and found it interesting. So. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's followed me on my journey as well so far. Um, I actually met a few people at the competition that said that there's some of the things I'm doing is inspiring and um, you know, also that some of the videos where I'm talking German are actually alright. <laughs> so it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Um, then if anyone wants to ask me any questions about competitions or powerlifting in general, do let me know. Um, I am hoping to get my website online soon, but I'm having problems with the payment page right now for my online coaching, which I'm going to be setting up. It's something that I've been working on for a while, but it's just taking its time. Um, I just need to get a few things sorted with the website. If anyone's good at websites, that would be pretty cool if somebody could get in touch with me as well. So if you haven't already done it as well, you can check out my Instagram, it's helena.strong and I also have a Facebook page, it's facebook.com forward slash helenastrongofficial. Um, I don't think I've really got anything else to say, I hope you all enjoyed my video. Peace out. <laughs>